just one of the hazards of low flying. One of the greatest assets of Wales and the Welsh now has a royal patron. Prince Charles has become chairman of the Welsh Committee of the Countryside. At a meeting in Merioneth, he asked for urgent action to remove eyesores and preserve the beauties of the landscape. Young people, he said, should play an active part. And he blazed the trail on the first nature walk, a feature of this new awareness. At the site of an old gold mine, which produced the gold for Princess Marina's wedding ring, all that remains are yellow iron pyrites or fool's gold. The real value remains in the beauties of the Welsh countryside. Although his campaign may seem a romantic one, the prince is nothing if not a realist. It's only too easy to say grand sweeping things about what should be done, he said, but not so easy to put them into effect. Here in the heart of the Snowdonia National Park, nearly 850 square miles of magnificent scenery provides a livelihood for foresters and farmers, as well as recreation and enjoyment for many thousands of visitors. While Charles was strolling around Snowdonia, Princess Anne was in a Wessex helicopter of the Queen's flight bound for a gas rig in the North Sea. She soon had to exchange her hat for a safety helmet and cover her high fashion trouser suit with overalls before making a tour of the high speed rig. It's run by the Amoka Group and the Gas Council, supplying gas through a seabed pipeline to the terminal in Norfolk, 38 miles away. Forty roustabouts and roughnecks, as they're called, operate Amoko B. It's one of three development and production platforms extending over an area of nearly three million acres of seabed. The princess is the first to break the superstition that it's unlucky for a woman to be allowed on board. She challenged superstition even further by actually taking a hand with the drilling machinery, boring into the rock 7,000 feet below. Altogether, she spent three hours on the rig. She'll soon be as knowledgeable as her dad among these technical complexities. She crossed the 100-foot bridge that, for safety reasons, separates the drilling and production platforms. The princess and her brother are certainly following their parents' example, building their own imaginative bridges between the old concept of royalty and its new emancipated role.